Welcome to Flutter Teacher. Expanded widget has a great role for making a responsive UIs in Flutter. In this video, I will explain an expanded widget along with its five different most common real world uses seen in the Flutter. So without wasting time, let's get started. One of the most common use of expanded widget is expanding the UI element to fill the available space along the main axis. As the name suggests, expanded widget makes a child of row or column expand to fill the available space along the main axis. For example, in case of row, we know the main axis is actually the horizontal direction. Let's say if we want this green container to fill the available size like this, so this green container has to be wrapped inside the expanded widget. Similarly, in case of column, the vertical direction is the main axis. So that's why if you want this green container, to fill or to expand in available size that is inside the main axis, then this green container has to expand it, that is it has to wrap inside the expanded widget. Let's see how we can do this practically using the VS Code. We have a row which is placed inside the scaffold and this row contains two containers, one with the cyan color and another with the orange color, having the width and height of 100 pixel. But let's say if you want this last container, that is the orange container, to fill the available space in the main axis, that is in the horizontal axis, we have to simply wrap this container inside the expanded widget. So let's click on this uh, yellow bulb and click on the option called wrap widget. Let's type here expanded. Now you can observe here, if I save this code, this orange container will get the entire space which is available in the main axis. Let's say if I copied this container and if I added some another container after this expanded widget, let's say change say color to green and you will observe here both these containers cyan and green they will have the width and height of 100 pixel and as this uh, as this middle container that is the orange container is placed inside the expanded widget it will get all the remaining space available inside that one so the width here 100 is ignored and it is simply expanded in the available space along the main axis one thing is very clear from this example that the expanded widget can be used along with the fixed size widget you can observe here we have the containers which is actually the fixed size widget using the height and width and this is the expanded widget that what we have in a combination here let me change this row to column and let me explain how it works so let's write here column and you can observe here as in case of column the main axis is the vertical axis that's why here the instead of width height will have importance here so the sign and and the green container will have the height of 100 pixel whereas as this orange container is placed inside expanded it will expand its height to the available space along the main axis that is along the vertical axis now the another great use of expanded widget is dividing a screen in a desired part using the flex property expanded widget has a property called flex when multiple children are expanded the available space is divided among them according to the flex factor by default a value of this flex property is one and we can use this property to partition or to divide our screen in the desired parts let's understand here uh, inside this row we have three different expanded widget that contains a container with the color green orange and blue you can observe here as the value of flex is one these three containers now will have equal amount of uh, separation or equal amount of uh, space for each of them let's say if i want this green container to occupy 50% space that is the 50% width here so I can simply change this flex to 2 and let me keep the value of flex for this orange and the blue container to 1 so when I save it here you can observe now the green container has got the 50% uh, width here so what is happening here you just have to add all the values of this flex so if you observe here the 2 plus 1 is 3 and again plus 1 is a 4 it means you are now width is divided in 4 parts out of this 4 part the two part means you can see here, uh, two fourth part is given for the green container then the uh, one fourth part is for orange and the last one fourth part is for the blue container let's say if i change the value of this flex to say three so in this case you can observe the change here so if you make the sum of all these flex here so it is basically a six so it means green has got the two six part of uh, the entire width orange has got the one sixth part of entire width and the blue has got the three sixth part of the entire width using the expanded widget we can expand or narrow the component to fit in the available space for an example 
we have the image widget which is placed inside a row and as this image that is the image of Gita is large enough so that it cannot fit inside the available width of the device. That's the reason Flutter is showing the error called the rendering overflow. <laughs> this error or this problem you might have seen so many times in Flutter. So if I want this image to fit in the entire available width, what simply I can do? I can simply wrap this image widget inside expanded widgets. So let's write it expanded and you're good to go. Let me explain one more example here. So first of all, let me comment this one. Here we have two different images, the image of man and the woman. And make sure that this uh, image of man and woman, both these images are large enough so that uh, they cannot fit again in the entire width available. So let me save here. You can see immediately Flutter is giving me error because both these images cannot fit in uh, the entire available width. But let's say if I want both these images to fit properly inside the width available in the row. So what I can do, simply wrap this inside expanded. So let's write here expanded. Then do the same thing with the another image here. So let's again wrap it inside the expanded. Then you will observe here when I save this code, both these images will be aligned or they will be loaded properly in the screen. You can observe here both these images are now properly visible inside the screen and they are adjusted inside the available width of your device. While creating UI in Flutter, we mostly need some component at the left side or right side and at the remaining side we want some text to be placed. So by default, if you place last text in such a UI, so you will get again an error called a rendering overflow. So uh, in this case also, we can make the great use of expanded widget so that uh, your text will acquire all the remaining space properly available inside your UI. So let's understand this one practically. Now you can observe here inside a row, we have a container that contains the guitar image uh, with the width of 250 pixel. And here we have a last text. So as this text is large enough and it cannot fit in the entire space available here. So by default Flutter is giving you an error that is the rendering overflow error. So one simple solution is just click here and wrap this text inside the expanded widget. So let me write here expanded. And as I do here the expanded, you will see here your entire problem will solve and your text will appear nicely here. One of the most essential use of expanded widget is for solving the unbounded height problem in case of list view. Consider we want to have a list view and before that list view, we want to place some component, let's say maybe a container or something at the top or at the bottom of the list view. Definitely you might have seen there is a problem called unbounded height and to solve this problem also, we can make the great use of expanded widget here. Let's see how we can do this one practically. You can see here we have a column that contains a container as a first child and that contains the height of 150 pixel. And below that container, we have a list view, uh, which is made using list view builder. It contains 50 items and it's simply printing uh, the element using the list style. It, simply, it is simply printing the item number here, not uh, nothing great uh, on the UI. You can observe here, uh, Flutter is giving me an exception and this is because the vertical viewport was given unbounded height. So this is the most common error we see when we actually deal with the list view. So to solve this problem, there is a simple trick and that is just wrap this list view inside expanded widget. So let's see here expanded widget. So when we write expanded and let me save this code, you can see a magic here. This problem is solved here. Okay, let me just erase this one and let me save it again so that you will have a feeling that this problem has removed here. There is no error or there is nothing problem in the debug console. And now you can observe here, I can simply use this list view. I can scroll it here. So I have both this list view and this component. Let me talk about very important point regarding the expanded widget. You can observe here, this expanded widget is placed inside a padding and padding is now the descendant or direct child of row. It means expanded widget is not a direct child of row. That's the reason Flutter is giving error or ex exception to you. Let me show exception here. You can observe here, it is giving you an exception, say incorrect use of parent widget. So it is compulsory that expanded widget must be the first child of a row or column. Otherwise it's true an error. You can again observe here, the uh, container with this purple color is not at all expanded. Means it is obeying or it is just using the width of 100 pixel. It is not getting expanded here. This is what the problem due to expanded widget is not a first widget or it's not a first child of the row or container. So uh, one solution for this one is, you can simply make this expanded widget as a direct child and let's make this padding or whatever widget that you want. So make that widget as the child of expanded. So let me just change it here. Let me copy this expanded and paste it here. So we need to delete this padding from here. 
let me use padding here and let's change this expanded to say padding widgets let's write here padding widget let me format the code and let's save it here we can observe here now the problem is solved and this purple container has got a padding and that's what fine here and this problem is simply solved by just making expanded widget as the first child of a row that's it for this video see you guys in the next video where i will talk about the flexible widget in the flutter and there i will also talk about the difference between expanded and the flexible widget so if you really found this video helpful then don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that you will get my all latest videos